Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, welcome to The Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. My name is Akash and today I'll be talking about one of our newest initiatives which is Miracle's Inventory Tracker, also called Mint. Mint is a Xamarin-based cross-platform application that works on both Android and iOS. In this video, I'll talk a bit about the business use case that governs Mint. Then I'll introduce you to Mint, explain its functionalities and architecture, and then conclude the video with a live demonstration. So let's get started. Miracle employees work across global locations and run major operations that involve making use of several expensive equipment. There are about 10,000 items varying from servers, VoIP phones, desktops and many more that we utilize. It has now become a major challenge to track the ownership of these equipment. Finding the right location of the equipment is getting close to impossible for us. In order to solve this exact same problem, we have built Mint. Mint is a cross-platform application that enables seamless tagging of expensive equipment by making use of QR codes. Mint allows administrators to add or edit item information, whereas all users can see the equipment and gain information about the history of ownership. All this by just scanning a QR code. Simple, isn't it? A user can scan a QR code and get information about an item. An administrator can scan a new QR code and add an item to our digital inventory by assigning location and users. Another great feature that our app houses is termed as Infinity Push. Bulk order of equipment can be added into our digital inventory in a matter of seconds by continuously scanning for items. This will surely make our life very simple and help us find the right equipment at the right time. Mint relies exclusively on QR codes. Every QR code represents a single item in our digital inventory. Our application backend sits on Azure Functions, which is serverless. Azure Functions make use of Azure Blob Storage for persisting pictures and Cosmos DB for storing items in a NoSQL database. Orchestration across Blob Storage and Cosmos DB is handled by the Azure function itself. This is how Mint succeeds in making our lives very easy. Let's now head straight into the demonstration. This is the dashboard of the Mint app. You see there are 14 items in the inventory and none of them are assigned to me. The user can go ahead and scan a new QR code by tapping the scan QR code button which opens up the camera. Upon scanning the QR code, user is navigated to a page where the user can enter information regarding the item that is being tagged. The app expects the user to enter item name and a description that briefly describes the item. Let's say Dell monitor and a description as a monitor for display. Then the user is expected to select a location where the item is located. The app also expects you to select a Hubble ID to which the item belong to. And then the last piece of information is an item identifier like a Mac ID or a serial number. With this, the user can add a new item to the inventory. The app has a page named inventory where all items in the inventory are displayed. An item can be tapped to show the details. Here there is a provision to edit item details including the picture of the item. User can either upload a picture by clicking a picture or by selecting an existing one from the gallery. User can change any information about the item at any point in time. The changes are reflected almost immediately. You see, the item is now updated. 
While viewing an item, user can get information about the person whom the item is assigned to. The history tab shows all the changes that were made to the item in a chronological order. It contains a list of all updations and also information about uh, when uh, the item was created. From the infinity push page, the user can add items in bulk to the inventory. Note that all these entries will have the same details except for the item identifier which will be prompted during every scan. After entering all the information, the user can start continuously scanning the QR codes and go on entering just the item identifiers. User can continue scanning for QR codes as long as he has some QR codes remaining. He can exit when the work is done. On every scan, an item identifier uh, information is supposed to be entered. And again, all changes are reflected almost immediately. The user can click continue and keep on scanning for QR codes. The user can exit at any point in time. All changes are reflected almost immediately and then the your items page contains only items that belong to the logged in user. As you see, I have two items that I just added. The same is also reflected in the dashboard as well. This is how the app works and a user can log out of the application as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.